first install uh, PUDB so you can use the pip install PUDB so to put the sudo so it's already installed in in the system okay then to start to start debugging simply insert one of the following statement into your code so to start debugging you can put this statement into you into your code okay, just copy that and let me put it here okay so control will break at this point and the control will uh, hand over to the PUDB debugger let me save this then run run the application so here you can see the GUI of PUDB Python debugger okay if you want to get the help you can press question mark then you can see the PUDB help here okay actually this screen has um, five section five section one this code section then this command line section then this variables section then this stack section then this breakpoint section total five section we can navigate we can go to this each section for example if you want to go to the variable session use the right arrow see right now I am in variable section then down now I am in stack session then down now we'll uh, now I am in breakpoint section then if you want to come back to the code section you can use the left arrow similarly you can use the shift V to go to the variable session stiff s to go to the stack session shift B to go to the breakpoint for example shift V now I am in variable session then shift s then shift B then shift C I will come now I am in the code section okay so here you can see I right now I am here at this point okay in the command line section here if you want to go to there you have to press control X control X okay if you want to print some value you can type here KW I am going to print this one so it's empty here okay so if you go back to the control section uh, code section shift C sorry control X press control X again okay then, then press N to go to the next statement okay now I am here Press N to go to nest. So I, I had a breakpoint here. So let me remove that breakpoint. You have to press B. Again, let me go to the breakpoint section. Actually, there, there I had a breakpoint. Let me delete that breakpoint. Okay. Now I deleted all the breakpoint. So if I want to set a breakpoint, for example, here. So right now the pointer control is here. So if I am going to set a breakpoint here, for so go to that line and press B. So now breakpoint is added. You can see the breakpoint here. Okay, now I can continue the, continue the execution. 
just press C button then can so the control will come here and stop here press I'm going to press the C button okay now control is here it stopped here okay then let me print some variable from this code go to this command line section then I am going to print this cruds so you can see the value then is there any other okay that's okay so this way you can print the value and check the check that mm. let me go to the stack section so first now you have to exit from the command line press ctrl x then go to the stack section press ctrl s now i am in stack session so so if i want to go right now i am in asset admin method so i come here from this method so these are the stack actually from this method i come arrange here okay if i want to check what is inside this in method just select that and press enter then i will i can go to that method so see so actually from this method i the function i this method get invoked asset admin okay from get all projects in that method in get all project method you can see the function call to assert admin right now control control is there inside that method so i want to if i, if I want to put a break here let me put a break here press b so right now now you can see the two breakpoints here in breakpoint section then go to the stack section and go to the asset admin method so right now control is here so let me remove the breakpoint from here press b so now one breakpoint get removed from here also then press c to continue the execution so the control will come here at this method get all projects and stop at that breakpoint let me check that see control now control is here get and get all get all projects and let's stop here at this breakpoint and you can check the value for example param go to press control x and go to the command line and check the value okay exit here then let me remove this breakpoint okay now there is no breakpoint then let me continue continue the execution for that you have to press c button c key c so now that got completed you can see the result here okay so this way you can use pudb to debug your python application